Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having another leg and this leg is in the city of Andola. We're looking at Dolly Hill Chinese Mall. So this is Dolly Hill Chinese Mall and this is how it looks like. Basically from the inside, we're just in one of the, the buildings and in the, uh, the area view of the, uh, of, uh, of the area itself and uh, where it's situated, it's situated next to the stadium. And um, this is how it looks like from above. Um, basically, it's close to the freeway that heads to uh, the city of uh, Kitwe. And then from other places inside, this is the packing lot. Or the packing places that you find in the uh, in the vicinity of the mall. And that's the inner part of the mall. That's how it looks like, basically. There are a lot of uh, shops that you could buy from uh, motorbikes, um, bicycles, furniture. Uh, 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 home utensils, you name it. Basically, there's a lot of things that you can buy from here. Even the uh, even the hardware materials and the hardware products that you'd want to uh, to invest in your uh, construction. So they're all available in this particular mall. And this is some other extension, some construction that is taking place at the moment. So uh, this is the filling station that is being built at the same uh, uh, Dolly Hill Chinese Mall. And uh, one thing that I don't love much about this mall is that the construction itself has taken too long, which is very unfortunate. It was going to be highly appreciated if the mall was built in some sort of a time frame that is uh, estimated between two to three years and afterwards it's done with the construction and uh, everything is running properly. Not the way it's being done, where it's being done in phases and it looks like they're very slow the way they're doing the construction because it has been available it has been uh, this mall has been around for a while now, and we don't see it uh, getting finished anytime soon. Because as you can see, they're just adding on the filling station, and if you look the other, if you look at the other side, you can find that uh, the land is still vacant because they've been given a very uh, big plot, as you can see. So, which is still vacant, unfortunately, and they intend to to extend and to put some big cones on there and a little bit of. Um, uh, the box of the foundation of what they're going to do next because according to their intentions is they want to put hotels and uh, several other things in the same vicinity as you're going to see further you'll see the uh, the area where you can have some recreation or activities uh, and some game area and uh, there's a swimming pool and basically there's going to be a couple of swimming pools in the same area so uh, the area that is vacant it has stayed vacant for a very long time if only the government had negotiated well or to give it to uh, another bidder that could actually put up some structure uh, that could assist the uh, the city in terms of uh, growth and entertainment etc um, this is one thing that i do not like about the uh, the whole situation the whole situation that is going on at this dolly hill mall but nonetheless uh the the place is uh, being developed and this is how it looks like from the back if you are to use the uh, the back road so that's a dust road that comes from the freeway heading on uh towards to the medical school that was also uh recently opened but it's uh, operational and functional as well so uh that's basically what you expect to see so all these areas at the back as you can see the road is not tarred and it's not paved at the same time but this is behind the mall and this is the vacant line that we've been speaking about which is, has been uh, vacant for a very long time and uh, hopefully the new dawn government could do something on it if they could uh, push the owners of the mall to either give them a time frame to uh, develop the place properly and finish it properly because it's on the freeway and it needs to be uh, a good uh, light that leads at night to the community that uh, there is some activity and uh, development that is taking place and uh, this is the new housing development also that is taking place in the same vicinity uh, which is next to a uh, hill crest extension but uh, you must understand that this is dollar hill area so basically it's part of uh, dollar hill and this is the layout of how the entire uh, dollar hill mall is supposed to look uh, is supposed to look like and this is how it's going to look like when it's finished so let's uh, keep our eyes open and see if it's going to get to that to those expectations that they've laid out on that demo so this is the um, the recreation area where the kids could have fun and this is a swimming pool that we spoke about earlier and um, looking at the infrastructure itself it doesn't impress me that much but uh, it's something it's better than just uh, having the land uh, uh, bare and not having any infrastructure on it 
but I would emphasize that the new dawn should get back to those guys and try to push them to do something that is reasonable. They must put up some infrastructure that uh, is definitely uh, competitive enough in this 21st century. So if you're watching us for the first time, please consider subscribing, give us a like and click the notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.